Hello everyone. We are doing a video series on how to add Copilot Studio as a skill in Azure Bot Framework. In the last, uh, in the first video of the series, I did a basic setup, introduced you to this concept. In this video, we'll take the first step, which is creating a simple Copilot using Copilot Studio, and we'll get the token endpoint that we will use in the following steps. So for this, the best way to do that is let me show you Copilot. So this is my Copilot Studio. Here, they keep changing the interface, but for the new interface, you can see different Copilots here. Here's my Copilot. I can go to a topic. I will not show you how to create the topic. Those are the intro concepts that I'm assuming you already know, but I'll tell you in this topic, what is the basic logic that I've implemented like I mentioned earlier, this is not a very sophisticated Copilot Studio Copilot. Uh, this is a very simple one. The idea of this tutorial series is to tell you how to connect Azure Bot Framework with Copilot Studio and not into not get into all the details of Copilot Studio concepts. So here for this topic, there there is a phrase order status in my Medium article. I have written, given suggestions for more of them. So let me go back to this article. Uh, this step is also mentioned here. This is the exact copilot that I'm talking about. You can add more phrases here so that if the user types any of these terms or anything related to this, it this topic gets triggered. Now this topic will have a question. We'll ask the user, what's your order ID? We'll save that as a variable. And if this is greater than 10, then we'll just assume that order is shipped. If it is any other condition, that means equal to 10 or less than 10, then we'll just say order pending. So that's, it, it's a very simple, like I said, almost silly Copilot Studio in real life, as you can imagine, you can ask this order ID from the user, you'll go to your order system using some API and you'll actually get the status of the order and show it to the user but I'm skipping that part for the simplicity of this video. So that's your basic copilot. The other thing that you have to do now is go to channels and you'll see different channels. They do say that Telegram is a channel, but it's like they just give you a token endpoint. They don't really connect you to Telegram. And this is the token that you should copy and keep somewhere. Uh, this this is the token that you'll use in your bot framework code. So that's all Copilot Studio gives you. So this is this is the token which will be useful for you in the follow up steps. So that's about uh, this video. In the next video of the series, we'll add this Copilot as a skill in bot framework using the token endpoint. We'll make a couple API calls as you will see in the next video. And then we'll deploy that Azure Bot Framework as a web service that you can call from your Telegram once you register that web service in the Azure Bot. So if that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. We'll cover all that in, in the follow-up videos of the series. See you in the next video. Thank you.